Hey, what's up guys? I got some requests to compare Amazon's Eero Pro 6 to Google's Nest Wi-Fi. So, what are the differences between these? I've actually done speed tests, I've done range tests, and towards the end I will tell you guys what I think uh, is better for the price and, you know, what would be good for you because most of these routers are, it depends what you're looking for and it depends how you're going to hook them up. So let's jump right in. These are both mesh Wi-Fi systems. What is a mesh Wi-Fi system? So, mesh Wi-Fi is when you hook up two or more devices. Let's say, if we're talking about the Eero, you get two Eero Pro 6 routers, and you create a single network within your home. Now, when you walk around with your wireless device, you hook up to the Wi-Fi name, your SSID, and when you walk around with your wireless device, this guy detects that you're closer to it, and then it says, hey, connect to me, to." pretty much give you a better signal and then when you walk around you go let's say two or three rooms away this guy detects oh that Wi-Fi device is closer to me so then it says oh switch to me basically so it gives you a strong wireless signal throughout your house on a single network so one network and you don't have to do anything on your phone everything is pretty much seamless if you're watching a YouTube video for instance and you're moving throughout your house you're not gonna lose signal that's what a mesh Wi-Fi system is. Now Google is exactly the same thing, except you obviously have to get uh, other Nest Wi-Fi routers. This one's also compatible with the Google Wi-Fi system. The Eero Pro 6 is actually compatible with all the Eero routers, according to Eero.com. So, this one, the Eero Pro 6, according to Amazon, covers up to 2,000 square feet or 186 square meters individually. So if you grab two or more, if you grab another one, obviously that's going to increase. The Nest Wi-Fi, according to Google, covers up to 2,200 square feet or 204 square meters of coverage. And again, that's on an individual router, so if you add another one, you're going to increase that range. So, the Eero Pro 6 is a tri-band router where the Nest Wi-Fi is a dual-band router. Now, what's the difference between tri-band and dual-band? This one's important, so I kind of want to explain it. So dual-band, as its name implies, is two bands. So you get a 2.4 gigahertz band and a 5 gigahertz band. Now, what is this? So wireless devices that connect to these routers essentially connect on a different frequency. So either a 2.4 gigahertz or a 5 gigahertz. So the more Wi-Fi devices that connect, the more the speeds start sharing on wireless. And so, the, so if you have a whole bunch of devices and you're noticing your Wi-Fi slowing down, it's, it's because you have a whole bunch of wireless devices connected. I mean, that's one of the things. It, it could also be a number of other things like your internet slowing down and all this other stuff too. But that's just one of the things. A tri-band pretty much tries to alleviate that a little bit by a offering three bands. So you get a 2.4 gigahertz band, but now you get two 5 gigahertz bands instead of one. So that's why you have three. So you have uh, 2.4 gigahertz and two 5 gigahertz bands. So that allows for more connections without slowing down as much. This will also slow down, but it'll take longer to slow down. The other advantage between a tri-band, which, uh, you know, when I cover the speed test, you guys will see, is when you hook, the, when you hook up the routers to each other wirelessly, tri-band usually has a dedicated backhaul. Essentially, it gives you better wireless speeds. Uh, between the routers to each other and I'll, I'll jump I'll explain that when I'm talking about the speed test So both of these suffer um, I don't know if suffer is the right word, but both of these have two ports the Nest Wi-Fi has two dedicated ports So you have to hook it up to the correct port So the globe is where the internet comes in and the arrows is where you know if you're trying to extend the network it goes from there and any one of these routers, I've done videos where I explain how they work, like completely. So I will put links in the description below. And while you're checking the description below, hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in these types of videos. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, so these are both uh, two ports except the Eero Pro 6, they're auto sensing, so it doesn't actually matter which port you use, this one or this one, the Eero will decide and figure out which one it is and then it should work fine. So speed ratings, you have an AX4200, this is an AC2200. Obviously this one's going to be larger because it's a tri-band versus a dual band. And the Eero Pro 6 has a Zigbee Smart Home Hub built in, 
What is that? So some, not all, but some smart home devices require a hub. A popular hub is the Zigbee hub. So this basically acts as a hub. So you could now basically buy smart home devices and it will be compatible with this and I'll connect to this and you can control it. However, I will say I have some smart home devices and most if not all do not require a hub just because I don't want to be tied down to a hub just in case the standard changes or I you know so I usually buy uh, pretty much no hub required smart home devices but if you have one this does come with a built-in just a heads up retail price these are pretty much on sale quite often but retail price this one retails for 229 individually and the Nest Wi-Fi uh, retails for 169 individually, but again, they they both go on sale. And if if you buy two or more, they're usually a better deal. Okay. So for my speed test, I actually used a Wi-Fi 6 device, which is a iPhone 12 Pro, and I did a whole bunch of speed tests. Okay. So before we jump into what I got for my speed test, my internet is rated at 400 megabits per second download and 20 megabits per second upload. However, when I do speed tests, I usually get around the 480 range and usually a little over the 20 megabits per second range. So option one, I did a speed test close to this. I got 480 megabits per second down and 25 megabits per second up. Now all the numbers I say, they're gonna be in megabits per second. So I'll just omit that, omit the units. So with the Nest Wi-Fi, I got 475 down, 21 up. Essentially, pretty much the same thing. Option number two, I add an Eero 6 extender to my Eero Pro 6. So now I've just created my mesh Wi-Fi and notice this doesn't have any ethernet ports. So this wirelessly connects to this. And if you guys are wondering, yes, you can uh, connect a dual band extender to a tri-band router and that's fine. Uh, you're not gonna get the advantages of a tri-band with another tri-band but you can do it. So when I did a speed test close to this, I got 217 down and 21 up. Option number two equivalent on the Google Nest Wi-Fi. So that's when you get a Nest Wi-Fi point, hook it up to the Nest Wi-Fi router, and that's where you create your mesh network. So this, just like the Eero 6 extender, does not have any ethernet ports, so I have to wirelessly connect it to the Nest Wi-Fi router, which pretty much, because these are dual band, your speeds are going to be cut in half. Well, technically a little more than half from what I saw. So I got 191 down and 20 up. But the cool thing about the Nest Wi-Fi point is it does have the Google Assistant built in. So you could say those magic words and, you know, ask it to play songs, ask it to set reminders, do translations, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, and it sounds just like, very similar to a Nest Mini sounds, if you guys are wondering what that sounds like. Okay, option number three... This is the one I run, and this is going to ensure you have the best possible connection, which is a wired backhaul or an Ethernet backhaul. And that's when you get two Eero Pro 6 routers, and you hook them up to each other through Ethernet. So there's an Ethernet between these. You could put a switch in between as well. It doesn't matter. So again, if you guys are interested to see all the possible connections, I will put links in the description below on the video that I actually demonstrate all the connections. But... When, I, when you do a speed test in this option, on the secondary one, you pretty much get equivalent speed, so 481 down, 23 up when I tested it. Option number three equivalent on the Nest Wi-Fi, again, when you connect two Nest Wi-Fi routers to each other via Ethernet. So this is also going to give you very fast speed. So on the secondary one, I got 472 down and 22 up. So essentially the same speeds as the Eero Pro 6. Here's the biggest difference. When you get two or more Eero Pro 6 routers, because these are tri-band, you get a dedicated backhaul. Translation, when I hook these up wirelessly to each other, I do a speed test on the secondary one, which is acting as an extender. I get 479 down, 23 up. So I pretty much got, for my internet speeds, I pretty much got the same speed wired or wireless between these, which is, pretty amazing that that's where the tri-band is kicking in with the nest wi-fi again option four is when i connect these two to each other through wireless i got slower speeds i got 
195 down and 19 up on the secondary one. So again, the speeds were pretty much cut by a little more than half because this is a dual band. Because the other one is a tri-band, you're going to get that dedicated Ethernet, uh, dedicated wireless backhaul band that's going to give you it's going to give you a really good strong connection. That's really the main advantage. Now, in terms of range, uh, remember that the uh, Eero Pro 6 is 2,000 square feet or 186 square meters, where this one Google advertises it to be a little bit more than that, so 2,200 square feet or 204 square meters. I will say both of these have pretty good range. So 20 feet away from the Eero Pro 6, I got 475 down, 18 up. On the Nest Wi-Fi, I got 430 down, 19 up. So you could see that the Nest Wi-Fi is starting to show a little bit of speed difference between these two. The farther away you get, the more it's obvious. So with the Eero Pro 6 at 50 feet or 15.2 meters away, I got 237 down, 19 up. With the Nest Wi-Fi, I got 165 down, 17 up. At 60 feet or 18.3 meters away, with the Eero Pro 6, I got 180 down, 20 up. At 60 feet, 18.3 meters away, I got 14 down, 6 up. At 70 feet or 21.3 meters away, I got 45 down, 12 up, and this one lost connection. Now, if you guys are wondering, okay, well, that was a Wi-Fi 6 device. What about a Wi-Fi 5 or wireless AC device? Am I going to see as much of a difference? And the answer is almost. While you will see less of a difference, the Eero Pro 6 still typically does a little bit better than the Nest Wi-Fi. Important thing I should mention about range, range varies from place to place. Where I'm testing it, there's a lot of interference. When I go to my parents' house, for instance, I can go way farther at their house than at my place because there's a lot less congestion where they are. So it really depends. If you're in some, if you're in a place where there's very few people around, you can go way farther than these distances that I'm saying. So I'm just comparing them in relationship to each other, testing them in the same place. So that's not to say, and with that same notion, you can also get less range if you're in a more congested area than I am. So really range does vary. So which one is worth getting and why? Well, it depends. If you have ethernet throughout your home and you're gonna use ethernet backhaul or option number three, you're not gonna to notice too much of a difference between these two. So if you wanna save a few bucks, that's Wi-Fi it is. If you care about parental controls, and that's Wi-Fi includes it, Eero Pro 6 has that ability, but requires a $3 a month subscription after their free 30-day trial. I mean, you get a few other things with that, but just worth mentioning, it's there is a subscription for it. I feel like it should have been included, but it's not, therefore I'm mentioning it. But here's really the big, there's really two big differences between these two. If you have a large home or if you're just going to get two or more of these and you're going to wirelessly connect them to each other, I'd go with the tri-band router. Just because you're going to notice much less of a speed loss. In my case, the two routers being 30, a little under 40 feet away, I would say. There's really no speed loss for my internet speeds. Um, granted, I still use ethernet backhaul. Uh, but doing the test with option num number four wireless backhaul, I pretty much get the same speeds as Ethernet backhaul. So that's pretty amazing where that is not the case for the Nest Wi-Fi. The other advantage uh, with the Eero Pro 6 is obviously you have the latest wireless AX standards, Wi-Fi 6. So it is a little more future proof. But yeah, those, that's really the two big things here that you should get the Eero Pro 6 over the Nest Wi-Fi. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave in the comment sections below.